Hi there guys, Welsh Hunter here, and we are back today with another tutorial on Mud Runners. So, today we're going to do Crane Operator and Delivery Mission. With the Crane Operator, the damn three main goals are no meet, uh, vehicle damage, no breaking wood fences, and complete without using the differential lock on your vehicles. So basically what we got to do now guys is um, with this one we've got a load of logs that we've got to pick up etc. So it might be self explanatory on that one guys but uh, it can be difficult if you're not familiar with the controls. But they they do you know get into place. So we've got to reverse into this, uh, into this place now. We're not allowed to break any fences so be careful what you do. Um, if you break one fence, then you've you probably go down to like you know two stars, and then if you break another rule, you go down to one star, etc. So uh, we don't want to do that. So now that we're in our place, you've got to go into your advanced menu, put your um, your anchors and whatnot down, so you keep yourself stable whilst you're using the crane, and then go to the top and use um, the crane button. This will enable you to do this. So what we've got to do then, guys, is reach out for the logs. You know, so it's very difficult, guys, because this, like, the controls work on a, an opposite basis, if that makes sense. So you've got to use two analog sticks at the same time, um, but like, you know, to go out is like, you know, upwards and whatnot, and you've got to try and like turn around your claw at the same time and whatnot. So basically, as you can see, guys, we've got the red arrow, so we've got to put this uh, here now and then uh, move on to the next location where the next log will be. Uh, they're all in this little vicinity so uh, you don't have to go far but be careful guys, I cannot stress enough, be careful with the fences. Um, as you can see guys I've spread, um, sped this up a bit so um, this video is no longer than 15 minutes for both challenges. Um, so yes again you've got to uh, get all the logs into the truck without without uh, any damages to your vehicle or any other vehicle as well um, otherwise this uh, mission just goes completely out of the window and uh, you, you probably end up with one or maybe two stars but the whole uh, thing about this uh, these tutorials guys is to enable you to get three stars so uh, obviously you can use this uh, these videos as a reference um, we want the best so I'm going to give you the best. So this is our last one now guys, uh, this is a bit more trickier because you've got a car parked in the garden. Um, not allowed to use a, uh, try not to use any um, differential lock because uh, that's, so that's why I'm using my, um, my winch. It just makes it a hell of a lot easier um, to get places. So go quite far out guys and then you're gonna have to come in like do a near enough a three-point turn if you want to call it that to be able to get into this garden without scraping the side of this car or knocking down some fencing as soon as you um, do both of those obviously um, you know you fail the challenge etc um, so this last one now as you can see the logs are to the right of the car um, so be very careful with these logs guys they will swing around your arm will swing around your crane I meant uh, will swing around and uh, hit that car and uh, hopefully I'm gonna do this without uh, a problem now so I've just picked up two that's a bit risky oh that nearly touched the car that was uh, <laughs> that was a bit close so um, basically yeah, we gotta get all these logs in this and the in this uh, back of my truck. My tri uh, crane is having a bit of a funny five, and my logs are going all over the place. So um, excuse me whilst I fiddle with these now. And there we go. So once they're in place, guys, um, make sure they're all packed neatly, etc. And then you are ready to go. Uh, and it is now just go to your extraction point. And it is as simple as that, guys. So, obviously, when you come out here, be careful that you do not clip the car or the fence in. Otherwise, it is mission failed. And uh, you will go home with less than up two stars. And we don't want that. We want the full three. And uh, by doing it this way, guys, and taking a bit of care and taking a bit of time, you will have no problem 
in getting three stars. So there we go, guys. So that is Crane Operator, three stars. And there we go, just to prove. Okay then guys, so on with the delivery mission. Uh, the goal on this one is to reach the destination with the Jeep on the back of one of the trucks, uh, tow and repair a uh, truck out of the water and repair it, and complete at night. Um, pretty simple, it sounds, yes, but uh, realistically it's not. So you can't see anything during the night unless you've got your lights on. And still then it is pretty hard because you've got a two river crossings and uh, you're connected and towing a different truck. Um, it says this tutorial about uh, connecting things up and whatnot, but uh, you probably already know this now from all of the previous missions or playing the game in general. So set it the drive when you're towing, guys. So the back one drives as well as the front when pulling and driving. And then uh, hold in triangle and uh, accept, accelerate at all at the same time. This will uh, the back truck will push the front truck, and the front truck will then pull and uh, pull the back truck. So you're kind of helping yourself like a bit of a tug of war if you want to if you want across these uh, water paths, uh, these rivers, whatever you want to call them. Um, and plus you get a bit uh, you get through things quicker like uh, water and uh, mud and whatnot if you get stuck. Okay, so obviously this is fast forwarded ever so slightly, so we are going a little bit quicker, otherwise, uh, you know, we'll end up doing something like five miles per hour for the rest of the game. So, as we're uh, coming up here now, guys, we're going to come to the second river crossing. These river crossings are an absolute pain, guys. Um, basically, they will sweep you away, so always overestimate. Um, overjudge. So go slightly upriver. So if the river tries to pull you down with the current, then basically you will end up going back to the line just like so, because um, of the force of the current. So yeah, we're across the two water paths now. Uh, that's 50% of the battle done. And as you can see, the back track is still faring pretty well. And uh, the back track, obviously, guys, you've got to keep the jeep, which is not tied down. It's just sat in the back of the uh, trailer. And so you've got to get that safely to the uh, finish line. So we can't play it now, guys. And uh, just on your left, there will be a truck in the water. But there. So basically, what I do, I uh, disconnect it and uh, basically uh, try and reverse this thing into it. But um, I got a feeling it ain't going to work because uh, obviously this is my first time trying, guys. So. Um, you know, let's just hope it works. Um, I'm going to reverse it in and hopefully attach it to the truck in question that we're supposed to be uh, we're supposed to be rescuing as such. So we've obviously got to get this truck out, and we've also got to uh, repair it to enable us to pass the mission. So yeah, pretty much. So I'll leave you there, guys, for a second, and you can watch uh, what I do. Um, I probably will end up using both of my trucks and maybe the trailers, but uh, use your winch to get out, guys, if you get stuck. That's all I'm stressing. All right, guys, so uh, enjoy.
Okay, so now the truck is out and it's on its wheels. Uh, we're just going to put it a little bit more out and then we're going to repair it. And there we go. So we have passed that part of the challenge where we need to repair the truck and pull it out of the water. So there we go. So now it's time to uh, reconnect all these trailers and get to the finish line, guys. It is as simple as that. Obviously, you know, that would have been a good 20 minutes worth of footage there, but I shrunk it down to a minute or so. So um, basically, this game would go a hell of a lot quicker. So um, just going to reconnect everything now and finish off the journey. And uh, that is basically it. So let's just put this out a bit more uh, so we can reconnect the trailer. Obviously, guys, try not to damage anything. So as you can see, that has sunk a bit so uh yeah we're gonna carry on and pull that out a little bit more so hopefully i can connect my on be careful guys because as you saw then the truck at the back um might have tipped out then which is uh which is lucky on my part that it didn't otherwise i would have been absolutely tamping that i didn't do this on my first try so uh yeah um but at the moment, guys, uh, apart from this uh, mission bio, because it is practically over, I'm going to mention a few things now. Um, I've started streaming on Twitch now, guys, so uh, if you'd like to see me play, um, kill some zombies and build things on 7 Days to Die, um, or play any other game, guys, uh, go on to Twitch and type in Welsh Hunter 93 um, I stream every two to three days. As, we, as well as making uh, videos for you lot um, every three to, day, uh, three to four days as well. So um, basically, if you want to see us live, guys, and have a good chat, please head across to Twitch. Um, I should be streaming, I'd say, tomorrow evening at some point. So um, tomorrow morning, maybe? I don't know. At some point, I should be streaming tomorrow. So... Um, so you'll see this video today guys, uh, which is the 20 second, and uh, basically we'll go from there. So head over to stream guys, uh, Twitch guys, and uh, join me on a live stream. Uh, so there we go guys, I hope you've enjoyed this guys, please subscribe, like and comment as always. And uh, as always guys, please share to your friends and family, and I really hope that you've enjoyed this guys. I will be uh, uploading part 4 sometime in the next 3 days, uh, which is the last 3 missions at the bottom right here. So, bye bye for now.